Hi, I'm Kai. I'm a Java and JavaScript developer, business analyst, and have been following IOTA since 2018. End of September, the Shimmer network was launched. I'll install a Shimmer node and a Wasp node on a local virtual machine. This is an update of my first video about installing a beta version of the Shimmer node. You should have seen the first 12 and a half minutes in which I installed the Docker daemon on a virtual machine running an Ubuntu operating system. I'm using a MacBook Air, but you can follow the instructions on a Windows PC. I checked it also on an Intel MacBook and on a virtual server at netcup.de. The first thing we need to know is where we can find the node uh, docker setup. And this repository has changed. Please use the new link which is located under the repository of IOTA under node docker setup slash releases. You will find very good documentation how you can configure your setup because with this uh, release uh, you can um, now use some options. You can choose if you want to use HTTP or HTTPS and um, you have the choice if you want to set up only a Hornet node or if you want to enable an additional WASP node. In this table I compare the different configuration between HTTP and HTTPS. My recommendation is that you should of course use HTTPS. When you are able uh, that means that you have a fixed IPv4 address and a registered subdomain because it's closer to the real world. In all other cases um, and for development you could also use HTTP. The configuration takes place in the .n file and when you use HTTPS you have to open additional ports in the router. So the .n file makes a difference. When you look into the documentation you will notice two new parameters. The first one compose underscore file merges two different docker compose yaml files with the effect that you can switch on HTTPS this way. The second one, compose underscore profiles, allows it to enable additional profiles which can be used to switch on monitoring and or the WASP node. Ok, before starting the practical part I will show the deinstallation and installation steps I will do. You could stop the video later to look up the commands again. As said, you now have different options for what you can install. As an example, I chose to install a Hornet and a Wasp node that uses HTTP and also turns on the monitoring. This results in the .n file shown below. For demonstration purposes, I also decided to define my own host name instead of localhost and to use my own port 9000 instead of port 80 which is the default. The dashboard credentials remain part of the .n file as usual. So step one is that we will um, look up the path and the file name of the docker setup. The second step is that we will create the directory where we will install our docker setup. And the third step is that we pull some images which are defined in docker compose yaml. After that we are able to use a Hornet tool to create the password hash and salt from a password given in plain text. And the hash and the salt are used to complete the content of the .n file. In step 5 we then create our .n file and fill it. Then we create the data directory and check the router if we have permitted access 
to the needed parts. And that's all. To finally start our two nodes using docker compose up minus d. I will use the logs command to check if everything goes well and I will use the docker compose down command to stop the nodes. In the lower part you have a summary how you can find the different dashboards and or APIs. Everything starts with launching UTM, that's the virtualization software, and my virtual machine called ShimmerNode-VM2. I then log in in the terminal app via SSH with my user, ShimmerNode-User, at my machine, which is called ShimmerNode-VM2. Then I switch to the root user in order to execute all following commands as root. I change the directory to optshimmer where I have a running shimmer node. I want to demonstrate how I deinstall the shimmer node. So first I check the containers which are running, up and running. So I stop the containers which are automatically removed as you can see here. Now I check the images and remove all images. The last step for deinstallation I remove the directory shimmer and all the data in it. So now we are clean to uh, set up a new shimmer node and configuration. So at first I create again the shimmer directory and now it's the step where I have to download the node docker setup. So in the releases subdirectory I copy the path of the setup and download it with the wget um, command. Then I unzip the file. I copy and paste and I remove it. So this is the content of the downloaded setup file. The .n file is still missing, but we can now um, pull all images. I have an open editor where I um, prepared some instructions. So uh, I copy the command to create the salt and the hash of the dashboard password. Which I executed here and uh, copy the result to my notes. And I also prepared the content of the .n file. So I take um, the hash and paste it at the right place and copy also the salt and paste it here. So I have everything together for my credentials of the dashboard. In the line with the Compose profiles, you see that I enable the services of monitoring and the WASP node. And I also define my own host name with the parameter node underscore host and my own port. 
everything together I copy switch to the terminal and execute the command nano.env so where I paste um, all my parameter configurations in. I save the nano file and prepare the data directory by executing the command prepare underscore docker sh And the last check is the router where I have to add um, the ports for the WASP gossip and the events. I'm not sure about the ports, so I take a look into the documentation where all ports are listed. So for WASP and the gossip of WASP you need port 4000 with UDP. And for WASP nano message events you need port 5550 with the protocol TCP. Okay, the router configuration is fine and let's see what happens when we start the nodes. I take a look in the log file of the Hornet node. That looks fine. With Control C I stop it and take a look into the log file of the WASP node. This is also working. Since version 0.3.5 there are no problems with the ARM architecture. Let's explore the dashboard. The dashboard is a proof that the node is running. The milestones are currently being loaded, so the node is still unhealthy. The visualizer cannot display any data yet. I switch to the Grafana dashboard and log in with the user and password admin at the first time. You have to think up your own password and enter it. In Grafana you will find the node dashboard 1 which is another dashboard with information about the Hornet node. Next I open a new tab in the browser and enter the URL for the WASP dashboard. The dashboard is secured by basic authentication with the user and password WASP. Here it is. Lastly, I want to call a WASP endpoint. To find one, I open the WASP API documentation and look for some GET request. All endpoints are documented in this Wagga page and you can try them out, like this API info endpoint. But please be aware that this is not your WASP node. To apply the endpoint to our node, I use the browser and enter the path to the API endpoint slash info. This is my test summary. Overall, the node docker setup is going great. I haven't shown the setup on a virtual private server, but this is fine. With docker, it's very easy to install both, a Shimmer node and a WASP node. The setup can be used on local virtual machines, the Raspberry Pi and remote servers. Have fun!